Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? Hello guys, as promised, I have here with me the red shirt guy. So let's get rid of the red shirt guy moniker. So what's your name? Uh, don't inquire. How old are you? I am 33 years old. Where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. How did you come up with that question? Uh, well, I was standing in line at the microphone, frantically browsing the internet for something to ask us. I didn't know exactly what to say. I knew how I wanted it to sound, uh, but I saw it on a Reddit thread. A Reddit user actually had, uh, made a comment, and so I went with that. You're not considered a final blow in the Diablo franchise. How do you feel about that? I sincerely doubt that I am the final blow in the Diablo franchise. They will continue to make Diablo games long after this, just not for me to play. Do you get recognized on the streets? No, not, not here. I did at BlizzCon. Everybody recognized me, but no, I don't think I would here at home. Any reaction from your friends? I, I, a lot of people have uh, sent me messages that uh, I haven't talked to in years. That was like, oh my God, is that you? So yes, big reaction. Did you get any actual shit for it? Uh, a few people, I, I don't know why, but a lot of people on Twitter seem to trash me, but everybody on uh, Reddit and YouTube and uh, Instagram, everybody's been really nice. What's your story with Blizzard? I have been playing Blizzard games since I think Warcraft Orcs and Humans in like 1996, 97. I've been playing their games for almost, I guess, 22 years, something like that. Do you play Path of Exile? I do, in fact, play Path of Exile quite a bit, actually. What's your best build? Uh, best build is a difficult one. I would say, you know, favorite build. My favorite build in uh, Delph, not Delph, sorry, in Abyss League, I made a uh, Slayer Cyclone. Uh, I went from Nagamus to uh, Starforge, and uh, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. That was my favorite build, which is basically a whirlwind barbarian in Path of Exile. Do you watch any Path of Exile streamers? I have, uh, you know, I don't regularly watch any streamers. Uh, I'll sometimes tune in and watch Zizran or Mathil, uh, you know, see what, uh, like, the build guides. I tell you what I do like, I love to watch NeverSync put the final touches on his filter updates right before a new leak. That is a stream I love watching. What do you think about my channel? Uh, I thought your channel was fairly entertaining. I watched a few of the videos, and I, I, highlight videos are always very exciting, so it's really cool to have one place to go. But, you know, I hit play on, like, the most recent one, and uh, immediately a mirror of Calandra dropped for a guy, and I was like, holy hell. So I thought it was pretty exciting. There were two mirrors of Calandra, actually. Two? Yeah. I did a speed screen. Holy hell. How does it feel to be the image of the Blitzcon debacle? I I don't know. I mean, it's I, I guess it's fun. It's a lot of fun. The memes have been hilarious. Uh, you know, just Googling BlizzCon 2018 and I come up. I kind of enjoy it. I think it's kind of funny. I don't necessarily want to be known for it, but I'm fine with it. What's the meme you like the most about you? Oh, sorry. What's the meme I like the most? Well, there are a handful of memes that I really enjoyed. Uh, one of the favorite things that someone called me was uh, the Lord of Destruction. <laughs> that was hilarious. And then um, the picture of the rage face that was uh, photoshopped to look like me, I thought was probably my favorite. Are you banned from Blitzcons? I can't answer that question, honestly. I'll let you know next year when I go to buy tickets and maybe when I show up at the door. <laughs> I don't think so, but I don't know. Will you be at XICON? I will not be at Exile Con. Getting somebody to watch the kids flying across the world. It's, you know, one con in a year is already a tall order. How are you taking this moment of celebrity? You know, I've, uh, I've kind of enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun talking to a bunch of different people on the internet. I've thought about making a couple YouTube videos, maybe streaming a little bit, seeing if it's something people might enjoy. So uh, I'm, I'm having fun with it. Talking about streaming and YouTube, do you do anything about that regularly? Uh, I haven't streamed or done any content creation for YouTube in a number of years. You know, at one time, 
six or seven years ago, I did stream a little bit, but I never had much of an audience. And so, uh, no, not yet, but maybe. Who knows? Would you like to become a professional streamer? That's a tough question to answer. I I have a career. You know, I have kids. I've, I've got a set up life. I maybe would enjoy it, maybe not. I might hate it after a while. I don't know. If, if your hobby and your passion becomes your job, you might start to hate it. So yes and no. I'd, I'd probably try it though. I don't know if I go straight to straight to a list streamer, but I would definitely try it out. What's your actual job? Uh, I'm a systems engineer, so I build uh, servers. Basically, I build Windows servers, physical and virtual, and I, I also work on uh, fairly large projects. Best Blizzard game ever created. The best Blizzard game ever created. Oh man, that's really tough. See, that's the thing I like. I've liked about Blizzard for a number of years. I think if you look at the genre, generally they have the best real-time strategy game and the best action RPG game and the best MMO. And it's it would be impossible to say, you know, well, what do you like better? Do you like crab cakes or, or do you like a, a T-bone steak or do you like a filet mignon? I don't know. I mean, there's. You know, they're all different tastes, but they're all amazing. So I, I would say my favorite of each would probably be, you know, World of Warcraft, StarCraft 1, Diablo 2. Lord of Destruction. Lord of Destruction. Thank you. <laughs> from an outside point, from a non-fanboy point of view, who do you think it's better, Path of Exile right now or Diablo 3? I am better, and again, it's like comparing different tastes. Uh, I sometimes I like the depth and complexity of the crafting system of Path of Exile. It's it's awesome. It it completely obliterates anything Diablo offers in terms of crafting. It, in terms of like getting in and and whirlwinding and smashing a bunch of monsters, I think Diablo really nails the combat, and it really feels very very good to get a powerful character and to start speed running through things with golden items dropping everywhere and so they're different tastes I, I think in different periods I, I played the new Diablo seasons I also play all of the new leagues in Path of Exile so I, I still like them both I wouldn't say I, I would say Path of Exile is more in line with what I really want out of an action RPG game uh, but I still enjoy both best game you've ever played the best game I have ever played. Oh my god! I don't. You know, if you go by played time, it's World of Warcraft. Probably two years played time. I, I don't know if that counts. And this, you know, taste notwithstanding, there's a lot of room there. Um, I, I would say it probably is. You know, Starcraft or Diablo II, Lord of Destruction. I I really just love the feeling of like getting the loot or just smashing somebody in the ladder. Um, and the, the game's very, very, very balanced, you know, bug-free, a lot of diversity. So that's a, that's a, that's a very that's a difficult question to give a straight answer to. What has been your best moment in Path of Exile? Best moment. Sorry, I had to take a sip. Best moment in Path of Exile. Oh, my God, if I had to narrow it down. You know, I mean, I think finishing the last map on my Atlas uh in one league you know killing shaper for the first time and him dropping a taste of hate uh you know i think uh that's a tough one there are a lot of things that i've you know everybody that that's the great thing about path of exile that's what makes it so exciting to play you go okay i played this character five days played and that's you know 100 hours or whatever of play time and then boom that item drops or you nail that six link and you're like, holy hell, that's really exciting. And that's something that Diablo completely fails. You know, Diablo, everything is a 1% upgrade every hour. And Path of Exile, you get that six link, that item drops, that's super rare, that enables your build. Oh, that's so satisfying. And I think we've all had a lot of those moments. Hardcore or softcore? I have done both. I don't prefer hardcore just because when you get to the higher end, Things tend to one shot, and any like latency, any snafu, a misclick, or just not a lot. Of, the delve videos at the start of the delve league when everybody's getting one shot by the little bitty the explosion of the blue line coming out of the sky when you killed the mob, you couldn't even tell. That stuff would just that would drive me crazy. 
I mostly play softcore. World of Warcraft. Best patch ever. World of Warcraft. Best patch ever. Oh, man. That's a toss-up probably between Black Temple and uh, Wrathgate. Uh, and Blackwing Lair. <laughs> I really like it. It's so difficult to condense down to like one best patch ever. There's There's been a bunch of home runs. Best raid. Best raid? Mm. I'm fairly partial to Molten Core. And it's not the best. It's totally not the best. It's my favorite, though. I don't know if, you know, for best, I would say probably, uh, probably Nax Ramus 2 was really, uh, was a really solid raid. Very well designed, very enjoyable. Are you planning on putting that shirt on eBay? No. No, I'm going to keep this shirt forever until the lettering completely fades. You can see the L is going. Wrong detergent, I guess. I am keeping it. <laughs> you know you look like Don the Crown. I did not know that. I have been also told that I am uh, the resurfacing of Josh Mosquera after he disappeared uh, <laughs> after the Diablo 3 Reaper Souls release. So there's a lot of fan theories out there. All right. That's it for today. Thank you to Mr. Don't Inquire. Thank you all guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to improve yourself. <laughs> I'd say it's, it's funny to me that you noticed I was drinking the uh, Blood of Chang. It's a unique flask. It's going to be added in the next league, uh, the B League in Path of Exile, Betrayal to be specific. And it's delicious. <laughs> that's, that's too goofy. I don't think it's cool. <laughs> That's too stupid. I'm sorry. That's so stupid. Oh my god. That would be terrible to put in the video. <laughs> oh, that's tear ass comedy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All of my jokes are like dad jokes, and to me that felt like such a dad joke. Oh, jeez. Now, imagine, imagine if uh, Chris Wilson watches this and actually makes a unique flask <laughs> like that. If, if, imagine if he watches this and then sits down for a 10-minute interview with you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to happen, but you know. <laughs> if, they put the, if they put the blood of Chang in the big <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be maybe the funniest thing that I they'll do something. They'll probably create like I, I hope they create like an armor piece that's red. <laughs> it's like Tabula Rasa reskin. All the sockets are red. <laughs> it's a red armor. <laughs> oh, that would be hysterical. Oh, yeah. Okay. I gotta recover. <laughs> I didn't expect that. You know I'm gonna put this in the bloopers, right? Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do that face again. Which one? Hello, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good.